Creatine serves as both a health and a performance supplement. It's why it's been widely used, not to mention praised, by athletes and fitness enthusiasts for many years. Among a variety of performance-enhancing drugs and supplements, creatine is the most popular, thanks to its ability to enhance muscle mass and provide bursts of strength to athletes. But did you know that taking creatine after a workout can lead to greater increases in lean muscle mass and muscular strength? Another great reason to take creatine post-workout is that it supports recovery by alleviating fatigue and damage to the muscles. Want to know more? Stay tuned for further details on what happens if you supplement with creatine after every workout. What is creatine? Creatine is actually naturally produced in the body. To be specific, it comes from amino acids and is mostly stored in muscle cells then released during physical activity. This natural substance turns into creatine phosphate in the body. Creatine phosphate plays a major role in making a substance called adenosine triphosphate or ATP, which supplies the energy for muscle contractions. Through creatine supplements, you can increase your body's natural creatine stores to capitalize on the substance benefits. Other than increased muscle mass and strength, taking creatine after a workout also offers less known benefits, even extending to people with neurological diseases. And we will be delving more into that in a short while. Coming up next are things you can expect if you take creatine post-workout. Real quick, hit that like button and let's get back into it. Number 1. Improved Recovery Creatine is best known for its performance-enhancing ability. Unbeknown to many, this supplement can also act as a recovery agent from a workout which is already explored by several different studies. For example, taking creatine has been found to improve recovery from resistance training, sprint-based exercises, and endurance exercises. Moreover, chronic intake of creatine can enhance muscle glycogen synthesis after prolonged exercise. In other words, creatine supplementation can be a beneficial method for enhancing recovery between repeated bouts of endurance training. Number 2. Accelerated Muscle Growth Creatine is the most researched, not to mention the most effective supplement in the world when it comes to putting on muscle mass. Supplementing with it for as few as 5 to 7 days is enough to substantially increase a person's lean body weight and muscle size. The initial gains are caused by the additional water being pulled into the muscle cells. In the long run, creatine supports muscle fiber growth by guiding key biological pathways and enhancing gym performance. Meanwhile, there's promising evidence on how creatine supplementation helps in raising levels of insulin-like growth factor 1 or IGF-1. This is great especially since as people age, they start losing muscle mass and increased IGF-1 can help retain lean muscle mass. Anyone who wants to stay energized after your workout session for whatever reason that requires energy, here's how creatine can help you with that. Number 3. Increased Energy Stores Everyone could use some extra energy before slaving away in the gym. It's why lots of people like taking creatine supplements prior to their exercise sessions. So, what happens if you supplement after your workout then? Well, obviously, you'll feel some bursts of energy. And regardless of how you'll be using up that energy, it's still a win-win. But how does it work then? For starters, creatine increases the muscle's phosphocreatine stores. Phosphocreatine helps with the formation of adenosine triphosphate ATP, which is the very key molecule that cells use for energy and other basic life activities. As a result, it gives you more energy to fuel your muscles or to just do whatever needs your attention and energy. Number 4. Enhanced Other Muscular Functions Creatine can also effectively alter many cellular pathways that lead to new muscle growth. For instance, it amplifies the formation of proteins which are responsible for creating new muscle fibers. Additionally, as we've mentioned before, it can raise levels of IGF-1, a hormone that encourages increased muscle mass. Furthermore, some research determined that creatine decreases levels of protein myostatin, a molecule that delays or hinders muscle growth. Reduced myostatin can help you grow muscles faster. In particular, creatine supplementation in conjunction with resistance training can augment the growth of muscles by lowering myostatin. In fact, according to a study on healthy men, taking creatine stopped myostatin from multiplying, adding to the creatine's amplifying effects on muscle building in athletes. Feeling very tired lately, especially during gym days? The good news is that you can reduce tiredness by taking creatine supplements. Learn how here. Number 5. Less Fatigue and Tiredness Creatine supplements have also been found to minimize fatigue and tiredness, 
Based on a six-month study in people with traumatic brain injury, patients who took creatine reported a 50% reduction in dizziness as opposed to those who did not take creatine. What's more, only 10% of patients in the supplement group experienced fatigue compared with 80% in the control group. Also, in another study, it was determined that creatine reduces fatigue while increasing energy levels for sleep-deprived people. Meanwhile, on athletes taking a cycling test, supplementing with creatine decrease their fatigue as they exercise in high heat. To sum it all up, creatine can reduce symptoms of fatigue and tiredness by supplying the brain with extra energy and raising its dopamine levels. Number 6. Decreased Blood Sugar Levels Another research indicates that taking creatine after a workout may drop blood sugar levels. This is due to the increased function of glucose transporter type, a molecule that transports blood sugar into the muscles when you ingest creatine. In a 12-week study, people who combined creatine and exercise had better blood sugar control than those who only exercised. Also, you must remember that your short-term blood sugar response after a meal is a key marker of diabetes risk. And the quicker sugar is cleared from the blood, the better for your health. Number 7. Increased Body Mass Water weight can occur when you take creatine regularly. And yes, this means gaining weight. Otherwise known as fluid retention, creatine can result in rapid water weight because it draws water into the muscle cells. In turn, your muscles hold on to the water, causing your arms, stomach, or legs to look bloated or puffy. Even your muscles can appear bigger, even when you've only started your training. During the first week of taking creatine supplements, some individuals put on around 2 to 4.5 pounds, mostly due to water retention. But don't worry, creatine won't make you fat, it has little to no calories. Surprisingly, the benefits of creatine also extend up to the brain. Still doubtful? Check out for yourself how this fitness supplement can do this. Number 8. Improved Brain Function The human brain utilizes a remarkable amount of adenosine triphosphate ATP, when performing heart tasks. Fortunately, certain supplements can improve phosphocreatine stores in the brain to enhance ATP production. Another way creatine can aid brain function is by releasing more dopamine and increasing mitochondrial function. For older individuals, creatine has been found to improve their memory and recallability. Number 9. Possible Protection Against Neurological Diseases Like Parkinson's Disease one of the common characteristics of several neurological diseases like Parkinson's is a reduction of phosphocreatine in the brain. Since creatine can amplify these levels, taking it can help slow disease progression and alleviate some symptoms. In a study of 20 people with Parkinson's, creatine supplementation improved their upper body strength and benefits of resistance training. In another study, combining creatine with weight training greatly improved the strength and daily function of individuals with Parkinson's compared to training alone. Now that you know what creatine does to your body and mind, the question remains, how much of this supplement should you take? We'll be answering that next, so don't go just yet. How much creatine should you take? If you aren't doing high-intensity workouts or lifting super heavy weights, your body likely produces as much creatine as it needs. Plus, you can also amp your creatine naturally by eating protein-rich sources like beef, pork, fish, and chicken. However, for those who wish to take creatine as a supplement for fitness or athletic purposes, then below are some reminders for you. Number 1. Consider the loading period where you significantly boost your creatine consumption for a couple of days or weeks. Doing so can prepare your muscles to boost the amount of creatine they hold. Number 2. During the loading period, take 5 grams of creatine 4 times a day for 5 to 7 days. Number 3. Once the loading period is over, reduce your creatine intake to a maintenance level of 3 to 5 grams per day. Are you now fully on board with taking creatine supplements after a workout session? How do you feel after knowing the great benefits of doing so? Share your comments and thoughts with the community below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.